The year, 2020, the place, the big, famous school of Filing Hall. It was Christmas Eve and Filing Hall was known for the jolly festivities. However, our story starts in the strangest of times. The miserable head teacher, Ebenezer Loops, had the teachers working work until Christmas. If not, I reduce your salary again. But I'm working as hard as I can. I've been teaching since 7 a.m. too. Poor Bob Bamboo, one of the teachers, has a second job as a school cleaner to try and earn a little more money for his poor family and to try and buy more medicine for his ill daughter. Uncle Lou, it's a third of a Christmas party tomorrow. Would you like to come over? Bar humbug, you address me as Mr. Loops or Sir Mr. Smartin. Christmas is a silly festivity and it should have been stopped many years ago. Well, if you want to be on your own on Christmas Day, so be it. Hello, Mr. Lou. How dare you enter my office without knocking? Detention for both of you on Monday. But we just wanted to ask you if we could hold a cake sale for children that can't afford food or presents this Christmas. It's been a local orphanage, Mr. Lou. Humbug. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. That's all I hear. It better if the poor children die, then the population will decrease. Later that evening, Bob Bamboo asked a risky question. Hello, what? And who will clean the school toilets and mop the floors? One day, I will give you one day off, but I am docking your pay. Loops made his way home, ignoring all the festive cheers.
Mr. Loops heard a knock. It was the previous head teacher. Mr. Frown, is that you? Is that really you? It is me, Ebenezer. I am here to warn you about what might happen if you don't change your miserable ways. I was once like you, and I now live in Greece. Ghost spirit, I do not believe in ghosts. Ah, it's me, Loops. You have a chance of escaping the same fate as I, but you must listen. What must I do, Mr. Frown? What must I do? Tonight you'll be visited by three ghosts. Expect the first one at 12, the second at 1 at 2, and the third one at 4. When the last ghost is visited, look to see me no more. It must have been a dream, a nightmare. I must go back to sleep. Where is that dreadful noise coming from? The spirit was right. Are you the first spirit? I am indeed, Ebby. But why have you come? It's a small secret you will discover if you follow me. As these words were spoken, they were transported to a school classroom. This is our old classroom. You were always so nice and helpful, Mrs. Fumlin. This is you, Ebby. You used to be all alone each Christmas. I felt so sad for you back then. How sad is how sad a small figure I look, all alone, there. Come on, we still have one more Christmas to visit. Let's Left go. the classroom and Loop stared at a big party that the head teacher at his oh, first time. school had thrown every Christmas Great for all year. the staff. A small matter for the staff to enjoy. A few coins spent on a party for them to all have fun. Humbug! Haunt me no longer! Loops went home and was working again that night. Who are you and what do you want? Ho, ho, ho! Ebenezer. The second ghost to visit was the ghost of Christmas presents. Many years ago. I'm the ghost of Christmas presents, and you, Ebenezer, have been on the naughty list for 54 years now. That's a new record. No one is as miserable and as mean as you. Touch my hat, and I will show you some things that will be very important for your future. Moments later, the ghost took Loops to a play park where lots of people were playing joyfully. Why is everybody so happy? It's only Christmas. Don't you understand? You have to be happy at Christmas. Family, friends, present, happiness, Santa. What do you want for Christmas for seat fat? All I want for Christmas, Daddy, is for you to work class. Oh no, poor Bamboo. He started to be getting very ill. It doesn't look like she's eating that much. Better they die so that population decreases. Is, not, is that not what you said? Magically, the spirit slowly disappeared and Loops found himself back in his lonely, dark bedroom and he slowly fell asleep again. The ghost of Christmas future did not reply. Magically, the two of them arrived at the school gates, but it was closed. In an instant, the two of them were looking at the poor orphans. We have not managed to raise any money this year. I'm afraid we can't buy you any presents. Oh no, is there anything we can do? The ghost remained silent whilst they moved on to the next place. Oh look, there's the old teachers that used to work for me. Well, I for one won't miss me. And I'm not going to go to his funeral. I think he had a good heart, but I've forgotten how to use it. And where's the little one? Petite cat, wasn't it? She died. Oh no, how sad. How can I be so cruel? And Bob Bamboo, how can I help? The next morning, Loops woke up in the best mood he had been in for 54 years. Strangely for him, his bones felt strong and not creaky. For the first time in years, he felt alive. Boy, boy, what day is it? It's Christmas! Give me the biggest turkey you can find and give it to the bamboo family and keep the change. Looch smiled. He still had time to make a difference. Loops greeted everyone with a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Next, he went to the bamboo family. Christmas party? Of course, dear nephew. 
As well as Bob and Boo, Mr. Loops raised all the teachers' salaries. From this point on, the school was a much happier place.